Hello guys, welcome to my brand new channel. My name is Christina and I'm so happy that I'm making this video for you because this video will be very inspirational, very creative, very motivational. I will show you how to make a vision board that will work. This is the key point here because I know many girls, including myself, who did their vision boards in the past and they simply didn't work because there are so many rules that you need to be aware of and this is the video that you will get all this super valuable information. So stay with me. Okay, let me show you the size of the board that I personally like to work with. This is the size, I get it from CVS. And I think that this size is perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small because when you work with a size that is smaller than this, then you literally have to limit yourself. You don't have enough space in every single sector. So everything looks super chaotic and this is a big no-no when you work on vision boards. So this is a really, really good size that I recommend. Uh, I would like to start with two really, really important rules that many people are not aware of. Rule number one, there are specific dates when you can work on your vision board. And right now it's the best time. You have two more weeks. It depends on the moon phase. Right now, moon is at the first phase. I'm going to put the photo of different phases so you understand what I'm talking about. And this is the new moon. It represents the idea of something new. It's the new energy. It's a new beginning. So that's why it's really, really the best time. Uh, rule number two, it's your energy. It's your vibrations. It's recommended to work on a vision board where you are on the middle vibrations, not on the low and not on the high vibrations. High vibration is something when you manifest towards something and you want it so bad that you just cannot let it go. You constantly think about these things. Low vibration is when you, for example, you are a big fan of Beyonce and you want to meet her. So you put a photo of Beyonce but uh, you're really not sure that it's gonna happen. In other words, you don't believe that it can happen. This is low vibration because it's some kind of negativity uh, and insecurity that you're going through. Medium vibration is when you manifest certain things, you put everything on your board and then you let it go. In other words, you have no fear that some things are not gonna happen. You trust the universe and this is the way it's supposed to be. And now the actual work. So we have nine sections. We always start from the middle. It's really important. We need to follow the certain flow. It's recommended to take, it can be pencil or pen or highlighter. And just like I did, divide every single sector into equal blocks. Why this is important? I'll give you an example. Look at this people and travel sector and the career sector. For example, you want to go to Tokyo. If you put the photo of Tokyo somewhere in the middle between career and travel, there is a chance that you will go to Tokyo, but it's not going to be your vacation. You will probably go because your boss will send you there. And we want to go and just enjoy our time. So that's why it's really important to separate every sector, okay? We we'll start with the middle uh, sector that stands for body and health. In the middle of the sector, you put your photo. Try to find the photo that it's not too old. Uh, it's better to find something that you have for the last two years. The photo of you when you are smiling, when you are happy, you really have like amazing great memories that you associate with this moment. Around your photo, you can put whatever you want. Uh, if you want to eat healthy diet, just put avocados, broccoli. If you want to meditate, just find a picture of someone who's meditating or doing you know, asanas and stuff like this. So it's really all about your body health and your mental state. I suggest you to write down affirmations under each picture that you're going to put on your map because there are many pictures that are very vague. 
So that's why if you're not going to specify what exactly you're looking for from this image, you will uh, get a very vague result. We formulate everything in the form of the intentions. In the present tense, like it's already happened. You need to leave a space in the middle section where we will put a photo that will help us to activate the vision board. Many people don't know about it, but it's really, really important. And it can be something that you can just go and get right away. Cup of coffee, chocolate cake, banana, I don't know, new lipstick or whatever, whatever just easier for you to go and get. So now we move to the next um, section, which is love and the relationship. And this is how we're gonna go. We're gonna go towards the top uh, angle and then we're gonna go all the way down this way, this way, and fame and achievement is gonna be the last section that we're gonna work on. This is when you're looking for the right images, you need to follow this flow. Love and relationship, it's pretty straightforward. If you already have your partner, uh, boyfriend, I don't know, husband, you find the photo of two of you when you're hugging, when you're happy and you put uh, your photos and then you manifest and write down whatever you want to write down, such as uh, my partner and I are both happy and in love. If you are single but you want to find your true love, you go on google.com and you're uh, doing a really, really fun thing. You're looking for guys who look really, really attractive to you and then you put their photos on your map and then you can say something i'm open to receiving more romance in my life um you can put the pictures of happy couples uh, doves the birds because this is a symbol of love you can put the, the picture of uh, two people holding their hands or hugging each other and stuff like that if you have a person that uh, you really really like but if you're not sure if he or she is into you, you cannot put his photo on your board. It's, it's a big no-no. Because if you're not sure that this person wants to be with you, you cannot choose his photo and his energy and manifest for him. It's not gonna work. So just really, really be careful and respectful to others people's energy. Once again, exception is that if you already have a boyfriend or a husband and he's definitely into you because you guys are together. The next one is children and um, creativity. If you don't have kids, if you're not planning to have kids anytime soon, forget about kids and be focused on creativity. If you have kids, but you want to have another kid, then look for a beautiful baby girl or baby boy and put a, a picture of them and say that I'm happy, I'm grateful because I'm pregnant and I'm expecting a baby girl. In terms of creativity, whatever you want to learn, you want to learn how to dance, you want to learn how to play piano, you search for uh, these uh, images online and you put them here. People and travel. So here it can be just um, any places that you would like to travel to or it can be people that you want to meet and you can say that every day I'm meeting wonderful people. I am surrounded by amazing friends that I love and appreciate. If you want to travel somewhere, you can say something that I'm grateful for uh, opportunity to travel to X place. It's really funny because I shared this with my followers on Instagram, but uh, last time when I was working my vision board, I put a photo of uh, girls who are sitting in the car and they're taking selfie because I wanted to have more like girls trips. And in August, a friend of mine, she invited me to go to East Hamptons because it was her birthday. Let's so look at this photo, it looks just like I put on my vision board. It's fascinating, guys. I Trust me, this thing really, really works. Now we're moving to the career. This section is pretty straightforward. It really depends on what industry you're from. If you're looking for a new job, then you can say something that I'm very grateful that I found my dream job with a great salary of dun 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 uh, that is close to my house dun dun dun. Another rule is that you guys have to be really specific when you manifest certain things. The more specific you are, the better results you're gonna get. If you have your own business, if you want to have more sales, if you want to have more customers, more clients, you're just looking for an image like this, 
with a line of people and you say that every day I'm getting more and more clients. My sales go up every single day. Stuff like this. Very, very, very specific. Many people put money images and why they are tricky. If you put image like this and uh, you are holding money, if you're not going to write down that your income is growing every single month, that you're getting more and more money, that you attract money, then the universe can see this image as you uh, spending money. So in, in this case, you're not going to make money, you're going to spend more money. The next sector would be skills and knowledge. Here you can put whatever you want. If you want to learn new language, if you want to read more books, always have time to read interesting books. Every day I'm getting wiser and smarter. My Italian language is getting better and better every day. I think you got the idea. Next sector would be the family. So we're here. We are almost, almost, almost done. If you already have a family, then you just put a photo of your family where you are having a dinner, everybody's smiling, everybody's happy, or you're just walking by the beach and holding hands with your husband and your kid. You can also put uh, pictures of beautiful interior design. If you want to have a beautiful apartment that is very cozy with a fire somewhere in the corner, put these photos. Wealth and abundance, very uh, important a uh, sector, and it's it's a fun sector because here you can put whatever you associate with wealth and abundance. It can be private jets, it can be beautiful yachts, rings, watches, expensive bags, and stuff like this. If there is something that you really want to treat yourself with, you want to get a, a Chanel bag, uh, and you know exactly which model they want, this is the best sector where you can put all this stuff. Uh, if you don't have a specific uh, desire for uh, specific items, you can just put whatever you think looks expensive. Uh, and last sector is fame and achievement. Here is the last one. This is the end. So guys, here, uh, many people are getting very confused about the sector and I totally understand. Some people put um, photos of red carpets and all this paparazzi. If you're not really into this stuff, if you really don't want to be on the red carpet or if you're not a fashion blogger and you want other you know, photographers to take a picture of you when you are on the fashion week, then it's about achievements. So it can be any diplomas. If you want to get published in the magazine, by the way, look what I put in this sector last year. And voila guys. I got published magazine with one of my food projects. So this was in this achievement section for me. If you are a blogger and you have a social media account and you want to reach, I don't know, 1 million followers, just look for 1 million followers, um, social media accounts and put them there and say that I'm grateful that every day I'm getting more and more followers on my Instagram account. It's really, really great to use the word grateful as many times as you can because it's the certain energy and vibe that you are sending to the universe and it specifies that you already got it and you're grateful for this and it will increase your chances of actually getting this. And now, last but not least, I mentioned it before, but it's time to activate your mood board. Whatever you're gonna put here in the middle, or a cup of coffee or a piece of chocolate cake, right after you're done, go and get this piece of cake or a cup of coffee. It's really important. If you live by yourself, you can definitely put this on the wall, but make sure that other people are not gonna see your vision board. If you live with someone else, it's not really recommended to show it to other people. It doesn't matter if it's your mom, if it's your husband, if it's your best friend, no. This is your energy and you need to be respectful. You cannot share your energy with other people. And last but not least, right after you're done with your map, put this board on the table. Put your hands on this board, close your eyes 
and try to imagine. Just start from the middle, a sector, and then go to love, children, creativity. Just remember this flow. Imagine and visualize like everything that you put here is actually happened in your life. Try to feel these emotions, it's really important. Why we're using our hands? Because this is how we transform the energy. This is important. Try to feel it. And after you're done, say thank you to the universe like it already happened, okay? Just watch the movie of your life using all these images that you put here. And I'm done, guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope that it was clear. If you still have some additional questions, of course, don't be shy. Comment below, I will answer your questions. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram, especially if you love food and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next videos. Thank you so much. I'm sending you the best, the most positive vibes. And in between two worlds that meet. This is a spirit show.